You want to tell everybody that you're going to be a big sister? Are you excited? <laughs> Hey y'all, what is up? It is Marissa Nicole and welcome back to my channel. And to say that I am excited is an understatement. <gasps> I can't even begin to explain to you my excitement. If you're new here, hi, hello, I'm getting a puppy. Well, I guess Griffin and I, we are getting a puppy. By the time this video goes out, actually, she will already be with us for a full day. So if you're not already following me on Instagram, go follow right now because you can get sneak peeks of her before Friday's video, which is the vlog of us getting her in our first 48 hours with her. It's freaking happening. I'm so freaking excited. And today I wanted to show you everything that we have gotten for her so far to like prep for her arrival. If you're new here and you want to see more puppy content or just other content from me, don't forget to subscribe down below. Turn on your post notifications that way you don't miss, especially Friday's video of us bringing her home. And a little background on her, we're actually getting an Australian Shepherd puppy. Her name is going to be Freya. I need to contain my excitement though, so let's dive into the video. Now I do want to say that this is like an essentials video, however, we may have gone overboard. Like not everything is an essential and I'll kind of like differentiate that for you guys, just in case you are getting your own puppy of like what you absolutely need or like what has been a great price for us, everything like that. I will link everything down below if you're curious or you like something. There was a couple things that I like thrifted in a way, so there might not be links for that, but I'll let you know those items. I have a huge box right next to me of just all the little things, and then I'm gonna go through the dog beds, and then we have giant items to the right of me over here that I'm gonna show you guys at the end. The first few things here are definitely essentials for any puppy, and if you've owned a puppy or you haven't seen this yet in a video, you need to get some pee pads, some little doggy pads for the ground, so if she has accidents, hopefully they land here and not on the floors, not on the carpets, all that good stuff. Also at PetSmart, I picked up basically like a cheap normal kind of harness for her she's gonna come home with a collar already but I just want to make sure we have a harness for her because I prefer to use a harness and I want to get her used to that as soon as possible and then I got the matching leash for it they're both from top Paw, like the brand at PetSmart it's just a basic leash little black leash I will post a picture because it hasn't come in yet of the leash that we actually ordered her this is gonna be like her forever leash so that way when we're going on hikes or when we're doing stuff this is the leash we're gonna use however while she's a puppy we're gonna use this leash or until at least that leash comes in and then another like essential item that is still shipped it should get here soon is her dog collar which I actually ordered a silicone one because the jingle irritates the crap out of me and I know some people are like well that's the most important part I love the jingle you need to know where she's at whatever I just didn't want a jingly one but also while we're outside if she were to get into water or mud or anything like that this one just kind of like wipes clean it's not gonna rust it's not gonna deteriorate kind of thing so I went with this one and I also just think it's really cute and it matches her leash so you know had to get it <laughs> another essential of course is how she will eat her food which is from this bowl right here I got this off Amazon it just has a removable water cup which I like that it's removable so that way I can you know take this go fill it up put it back and then on this side is actually like a slow feeder kind of side for it because it has a raised paw which is nice so hopefully she won't like scarf down all of her food I wore this shirt on purpose to like match because if you'll see there's a color scheme to all of her things which is like this bright Tiffany blue kind of thing that's what we're going with Griffin would not let me get pink stuff for her because he doesn't want to carry a pink leash whatever there's a couple pink things in here but you know the few pink items that I was able to get is a little puppy Kong for her so of course we'll be able to stuff this with peanut butter or anything like that to keep her busy if we want to keep her in the crate or in the playpen or honestly just like a nice little play toy kind of thing and this one's specifically for puppies so it's a little bit softer and smaller for her as she gets older she of course will upgrade to a regular size one but for now she gets the cute little pink one I also got her a pink puppy Nyla bone for like chewing and for teething and stuff like that because she most definitely will be when we first get her and so I was able to get this one in pink which is so tiny so cute like perfect size for her and then the next one is like pink and blue but this is a licky mat and there's actually two of them but they're like suction cup together because they can stick to services essentially what we plan to do with this is spread peanut butter on it you can spread green yogurt on here you can spread whatever like dogs can eat even like wet food and like freeze it or anything like that and they can just lick it up kind of like a Kong but it's a mat and it keeps them busy for hours and the fact that it sticks is really nice because I can stick it to our floors we have wood floors that way it doesn't like move around while she's licking she can stay in one spot or what people really use these for too is putting them in like the bathtub so that way it keeps them busy while you're trying to give them a bath because these will stick to the tub or you know the walls anything like that the next few things kind of like go together and you'll see what I mean these are her poop bags I got a pack of two one black one blue or one black one blue so that way we can attach it to her leash or we can keep one in like a doggy bag or keep one wherever we want it has zippers which you know typically I see like the plastic ones that like unscrew or whatever and I kind of like the look of these ones better I already put a bag in here so they just kind of come out of the side here and that way you always have two bags on hand it does have a little clip here so you can attach it to parts of her leash or wherever we want to and there's also velcro straps here so if you're wanting it to not like flap everywhere while they're walking you can clip it to the leash and then also like velcro it to the leash and it just stays right there to go with these and with the leash I got two of these it came in a pack of two but it's essentially a thing so you see these little like this triangle part here it's made to put like the bag through 
whenever you have like a filled up bag and then you tie it off and it'll hold it. But you can put these on the leash. It kind of slips through itself like this and then it'll attach to the leash if you guys can tell that. Put it wherever you want on the leash. That way it doesn't have to be really close to your hand. You don't have to carry it. Keep the smell away from you, all that good stuff. I just thought it'd be handy, especially while we're going on walks. It's different when we're going like potty outside because at our place we have like a whole bunch of little boxes with doggy poo bags and like baskets to throw that away. But for walks, you want somewhere to put it until you get back home. And of course you can't have a poo bag holder without poo bags. And so I got them in bulk. There's like 60 rolls and I think there's like 15 or 20 per roll. And so there's just a ton of poo bags, which we will just have stocked up. Now I'm not gonna unravel this because I don't wanna ravel it back up, but this is essentially a really, really, really long lead. I wanna say it's like, what, 30 feet, which is used for training. So it helps when you're trying to train recall, making sure that like they're kind of off leash without being off leash. I can go to big grassy area, have her to a leash, but like let her run really, really far away and practice calling her back, making sure that she comes back before we go totally off leash. We won't have to use this for quite some time because when we get her, she will not be fully vaccinated just yet. So she can't really go outside. She can't be around other dogs. She can't go to the dog park yet. But while I was doing all my shopping, I just thought I'd grab one now because I know that it will come in handy when we are trying to train her and we don't want her to run away. I might be crazy for this, but I really want to train Freya to like ring the bell whenever she has to go potty. But this is what I got. It essentially can go around your doorknob on the door, go on the back door, front door, whatever. And that way it hangs. And whenever she needs to go potty, I wanna train her to like nudge it with her nose and I can hear that. And then I know that she needs to go potty. I've never had a dog that used it. So I really wanna get her to use this because I think it'll just be really helpful. Like I said at the beginning of the video, we are getting an Australian Shepherd, which are notorious for shedding. So I got a couple brushes to start out with until we figure out like what she really needs or if these work, that's totally fine. I started with a metal slicker brush, which is just like your typical metal brush, but it's still kind of like, you know, soft. It's not like too hard for her, but that way we can try to like brush her out that way. And then I also got specifically like a de-shedding comb because is they shed and they have undercoats and stuff. So we'll see how this works with her. We probably won't need to use it right away, but I also want her to get used to stuff like this. Like we want to desensitize her to having to get brushed. Like we want to start brushing her at an early age. So that way she's used to it. She likes it. And also when she goes to get groomed, she's not like freaking out. Now, along with like desensitizing, we want to make sure that she's desensitized to like us touching her wherever we want to, as far as like around the face, in the mouth, on her tail, on her paws, whatever it needs to be. So that way when she goes to the vet, she's also not like freaking out. And so one thing we got that is good for her in general, but also to like help desensitize her is this little tiny finger toothbrush. If you see this, this is so freaking adorable. You just stick it on your finger and then you're able to like brush her teeth and you get like little dotty toothpaste and you're like, mm, and it's just like, I don't know, easy. And then it came with this little tiny blue case so that way it stays clean. Again, with her being an Australian Shepherd, we will be getting her groomed like regularly. That's what she will need. However, I wanted to grab, of course, shampoo and stuff like that so that we can give her baths here whenever she needs to, which I got at PetSmart. It's just the Earth Bath Ultra Mild Puppy Shampoo, Wild Cherry, which smells so good. Mm, delicious. And this next thing can be used like in between baths, but also whenever she goes outside and she just gets muddy or wet. We wanted to have some like puppy wipes, kind of like baby wipes, but puppy wipes. These ones are from Earth Rated and I got them off Amazon. These next two things she won't be able to like readily use yet because she's not allowed to leave the house. However, we will be bringing this on the car ride with us in case she needs it, which is a portable water bottle. Now this one is really cool. I was debating between some of them have like a flip up and then you like squirt it into this little thing. This is essentially like a water bottle that this part twists off. You fill this with water put this back on. And then there's a button here that you would just press. Water comes out of this little hole into this little bowl that she's able to drink out of, which is great. But the kicker is, which is why I love this one, is that whenever she's done, if she didn't finish any water, I can press the button again, tilt it up, and it'll go back into the bottle. That way we don't waste water. Because a lot of people will use stuff like this, which are like collapsible water bowls. Whatever she doesn't drink, they just like pff, dump out and then you're wasting water. So I wanted to get one of these for the water. However, I still wanted to get collapsible bowls for like food because I want to go hiking with her. I want to like go camping with her. We want to like do outdoorsy things. So I wanted to make sure that we had stuff that maybe we'd be able to feed her on the go. And so the ones that I got actually came in a pack of four. So we're able to kind of like store these wherever we want. And they're all different colors, which is like really fun. And this next thing is going to be her first of many, many, many items like this, which this is called a snuffle mat. It is all put together right now, but essentially this would open up to like this huge interactive mat like this that she can eat out of. So if you were to drop like her kibble in here or even just treats, you just hide them within all of these things. And it just makes them like work for their food and makes things a little bit more fun because she has to like smell and like try to get it and find it rather than just like plopping her food in a bowl. She scarfs down in five minutes and then she's done. I could feed her meals in this and this would make her meals last from five minutes to like half hour maybe. But I want to get a lot of stuff like this, like snuffle mats. There's tons of different styles. This was kind of like the cheapest one that I found to start out with. Very fitting that it's the color that I wanted, but also getting her like puzzle kind of toys that she has to like figure out how to get the food out of. There's tons of different styles. Those can get kind of pricey, but we do want to get some of course, but I just don't know how much she'd be able 
to do as like a puppy puppy. So I wanted to start with like a soft snuffle mat before we get her one of those like real puzzle toys. And then every single like dog video that I watch, dog haul or whatever, or just dog people that I watch, they all use these treats. So I had to get them and try them, which are the Zooks minis. I got her specifically the salmon recipe because I know that just sounds good to me, but they're teeny tiny and they're good for like training. You can also like break them up even more. But in general, like this brand, I just have heard really, really good things about. So I wanted to try them. And this is the only like treats that I bought so far because we also signed Freya up for something really amazing, which if you're following me on Instagram, you've already seen because I like, I couldn't wait to open it. So I wanted to show you guys there. But I of course signed her up for a bark box and we got her first bark box, which is like Valentine's Day themed or like February themed. I just want to show you guys what came in it, which are more toys for her, which is great. So this one is like a little Hershey kiss for her. It kind of makes that crinkling noise, which is going to be amazing for her. Hopefully we'll see what kind of toys she likes. Like who knows, but this one is really cute. There's also another crinkle paper one that looks like a hot dog and it just says nice buns on it, which I think is adorable. And then this toy is like really cool because it's a bag of chips and it says you're all that in a bag of chips. But there's also a Velcro up here and then there's chips inside. Like there's more toys inside the toy, which I think is adorable. And then of course it has like a paper bag sound. And then we also got some like treats and stuff like that. So one, they sent us pet gourmet chew stick, which is a pumpkin and honey recipe. And it looks like there's like four of them in here. So she'll be able to have these at some point. And then inside the bark box, it came with two treats. So now we have like three different kinds of treats to try her with. And they're all like different flavors. So I'll kind of be able to see what flavors she likes. And so this one is a cobble jerky bars, which is a turkey recipe, or this one is a chicken recipe. And this is clucky jerky cuts. And to go along with the treats, I actually found this treat jar on Facebook marketplace and I bought it. It was $5, picked it up. It's super big, super cute. And I can hold treats in here. And I just thought it was cute. Like it fits our little like aesthetic. It has paw prints on it. It's adorable. And then for some of the toys that we got her, again, we didn't want to go too crazy too soon because I don't know what kind of toy she'll really like, but we ended up getting her this little like dog stick thing. Is it missing an eyeball or is it only supposed to have one? I don't know. I just noticed, but it has a squeaker. So can't wait to hear that constantly. Mainly Griffin's old family dog who unfortunately passed away. He used to have one of these that was like one of his best friends and he would carry it around every day in his mouth. So I wanna make sure we got one of these just to kind of like pay homage to the old family dog with Freya. I couldn't not pass this toy up when I passed it in Marshalls because it's a freaking tequila bottle. And if you know me, my name's Margarissa. We have a podcast that airs every Margarita Monday. Like Margarita's tequila, that's my thing. And so I, I had to get her a tequila bottle, which actually is really cool. Like it has this Velcro on it and you can, you just put a bottle in there. Like it comes with a bottle, but it's just a normal, you know, water bottle in there that we can like reuse. So I had to get that for her, but mainly it's kind of for me. This next toy is another one that I see everybody have and that they absolutely love and they totally recommend, which is a chuck it toy. And essentially it's just a thing that like helps you throw balls. And it also just helps you because when they get it all slobbery and stuff, you don't have to touch it. Like if this is the floor, you just kind of put it over it, snap it in and then you're able to throw it again for them. That's crazy. Does it actually work though? How do you get it to come out? I'm too scared. Oh, well, there we go. And these two are kind of toy-y, but they're also treat-y. So they're essentially rubber balls. So of course they can just be toys in that sense. But the cool thing is, is they have teeth on them, if you guys can tell, that you could open up and you put food in. So you can put kibble in there, you could put treats in there, whatever, you could put them all the way around. And then it's like a toy, a Kong kind of toy again, that they can sit down, that they can chew, that they can try to get the food out. That just takes them a little bit longer, keeps them busy, which is important because I'm gonna need to find ways to keep this girl busy. So I got two of those. Moving into like the bedding and stuff like that, this is a fleece that is essentially like a little blanket like a little dog blanket that Griffin's mom got for us that just has little dog faces on it. And the dog kind of looks like their old family dog that looks like Jeter. And Jeter used to have, again, that red toy that I showed you. So we got one for him. But Jeter also used to have a blanket with a whole bunch of dog faces on it that he had up until literally his last day that he would carry everywhere with him. And he was just super attached to it. So she got kind of like a little fleece for Freya, just kind of like keeping the family dog in our lives. And she has a little doggy blanket. We also got two doggy towels that have just like paw prints on them. Because again, if we're giving her baths, I want, you know, know, dog towels to be dog towels, people towels to be people towels. And also we can keep one like in the house for baths and one in a car or something like that for if she gets like totally wet. If we're out hiking or something, we can dry her off and these can just be like her towels. And now for beds, I wanted to get her two different beds. One will be in the living room in her playpen um, and just this area and one will be in our bedroom because I kind of want to have a space for her in every room. And right now we just live in a one bedroom apartment. So that's all we have. And so the first bed is going to be in her playpen, which is this bed. I put a poll on my Instagram to like ask you guys what kind of beds you guys wanted. This wasn't a part of the poll because so many people swiped up on that like story and was just like, you need to get this kind of bed and ended up getting this bed instead, which is going to be a good size for her when she first gets here. And it also has edges to keep her like inside. It's really soft, really furry. And then I wanted to kind of have like a different style bed for her for the bedroom. So that way she has like options and that way we can also see what she really prefers. Cause who knows? She might not even like that bed. She might not like this bed. I also asked you guys on my Instagram to vote on the bedroom bed and y'all voted for this one. So I ended up getting this bed, which is just like a really long, like soft bed. There's like kind of a suede material on one side and then it's 
it's like softer on the other and it's just more flat there's no edges or anything like that so just kind of seeing like what she'll like and what she wants to get into I know that the first bed is really suited for her size for when she first gets home the second bed will be able to be like her lifelong bed or until she like chews it up or does something to it this next item I am not taking out yet because it'll be way too big and I need to actually like set it up when I actually take it out essentially this is a dog car seat cover with mesh viewing window it's like a doggy hammock for them to chill in to sit in in the back seat of the car it hooks onto the headrest of the front seats and the headrest of the back seats so it kind of creates this like hammock for them and that way if like we need to slam on our brakes or whatever happens she doesn't go flying forward or like fly out of the seat like onto the floor all that good jazz I believe it also comes with like a car seat belt for the dog but if not we're gonna end up getting one because that's what we need to do to be safe with her but it also can connect on the edges to like <laughs> I don't know if you guys call them this but like the oh shit bars in the car like the things that you hold on to on the ceiling when you're in the car it'll also do that so it like is fully encapsulated so that way the dog can't get anywhere that you don't want the dog to get to it's fully waterproof so she has an accident in there we can just wipe it up really easily and nothing gets on the car seat but it also helps with like shedding or just like nails depending if you have like leather seats or whatever I just don't want the car to get damaged so this is just like perfect for her to like have an area in the back seat that she can just chill in and then I don't have to worry about I also got these bins and you're probably like what does this have to do with the puppy so essentially I'm crazy and I want to be completely prepared for anything at any given time so I talked about doing like go bags in a way which we will have like a doggy bag kind of like a you know a baby bag or a diaper bag however I also want to have like containers in Griffin's car in my car and in the closet here of all of her stuff and I don't mean toys it's mainly like her stuff stuff so if we want to put like her leashes and her collars and like everything in here and that sits in the closet out here so whenever it's time to take her outside to go potty we can just reach right in get all the stuff that we need and nothing's like out in the middle of the apartment we all know where everything goes and all of her stuff is in one spot and we can start keeping like doubles and triples of items and stuff like this so we would have one of these towels in here and ready for when she comes in from the door and she's muddy we can just grab it dry her off but then also one of these towels will go in this container that's in my car and then one that's in Griffin's car and stuff like that and like the same thing with the baby wipes like we'll have baby wipes in all of the cars we'll have like a food bowl in all of the cars that way she's like fully prepared we're on to the last three things but they're like the big things so I'm gonna like push them in one at a time and tell you about them of course one of the main things that we will need for her is a crate but it also comes with a divider which is really important because that way we can like make it smaller while she's small but then we also don't have to buy more crates as she gets older and bigger this is just gonna be her forever crate because we do plan on crate training her because I believe that's the best way to keep her safe and to just like train her now I know that you can't see what's inside of this box but I'm gonna tell you what's inside of the box and it's a baby gate I found this on Facebook marketplace so that way I could get like a really good deal on it but we plan on putting a baby gate to cut off the bedroom for the puppy because the bedroom is like fully carpeted and all of out here is hardwood so I'm not really worried about if there's an accident like it'll be easy to clean out here I do not want her on the white carpet because we of course rent until she's fully potty trained and also it helps to keep her and we already have cat kind of separate while they're getting used to each other I keep talking about a playpen which we actually don't have yet we're gonna get that today one of our work friends actually got an Australian Shepherd puppy like last year and so they had already bought a playpen and they said that we can borrow theirs which is super great because the crate and the playpen are always like the most expensive things to buy I will still link one that we were looking at getting because it's like I think the best deal however we're gonna end up borrowing one of our friends which is great and we're gonna pick that up from his house tonight it just will confine her to a space whenever I need her to be confined like if I need to go take a shower I don't have to put her in the crate she can be like in her playpen or like whatever it's just like a good place to put her if I can't literally have my eyes on her for that moment this last item behind me is not an essential per se but for me is an essential or I think it'll just be better and easier to train Freya with this which is basically it's called a pet loo but it's essentially a turf box that she can use to go potty so that way she doesn't have to use puppy pads you can put them indoors you can put them outdoors we plan on putting ours out on the balcony outside but like this is what it looks like it just is a little turf grass that way she can go potty on it and I just preferred to use this method because I don't want my house smelling like poop and pee all the time I don't want puppy pads everywhere I just don't want to deal with that I know that people use that it's whatever everybody has their choices this is my choice and I keep saying this but for her first two months she won't be able to go outside to go potty on the grass because there's a lot of other dogs here and until she's fully vaccinated she can't be around other dogs or where other dogs have like gone potty so essentially if we didn't get this for the first two months she would only have to go potty on a pee pad and I just don't want that I'd much rather have this for two months and specifically you can get these off Amazon I was about to get one on Amazon but then I thought to myself like hey what if there is one on Facebook marketplace there was so I got this off Facebook marketplace, but you can get it on Amazon. They never even opened it So I'm happy about that because I got it discounted and it's brand new But that is everything that we have gotten for little tiny baby Freya so far I'm sorry. This video is probably really really long I just really wanted to go in depth of like what I got her I hope this video was helpful for you if you're looking to get a puppy I hope it kind of like gave you ideas on what you probably need or maybe what's not like essential But just kind of informed you again Everything will be linked down below So if you saw something that you liked and you wanted to grab it or just do some more research on it It will be down below and if you want to see more videos of Freya like how we set everything up get her area all together set up the pet loo outside like all that of course is going to be in a
a separate video, so don't forget to subscribe down below and turn on your post notifications, that way you don't miss that. And if you already wanna see Freya pictures of her and videos of her, you can follow me over on Instagram, or you can wait until Friday's video of the vlog of getting her. Up to you. But I love you guys so much, more than you'll ever know, and I will see you in the next video with Freya. Bye.